welcome back to my channel um today i just wanted to talk to you or actually just show you how i do my brows um i get a lot of people who ask me and a lot of compliments on my brows and i am by no means a brow expert um or anything like that i've just had a lot of trial and error <laughs> and so i've kind of learned how to do my own brows as far as um, shaping them and filling them in and all that kind of stuff. So just a quick tip or just so you notice right now, I'm going to show you. I've already got this brow done. I'm on my way to work. And so I just quickly filled it in. Um, and the way I do my brows is very, very easy and does not require a lot of product. Um, uh, also, I wanted to give you guys a tip. So I don't go, I haven't went to an actual like place to get my brows done in a very, very long time. Probably I've been doing my brows for maybe three years myself. So as far as shape and all that kind of stuff, I do them myself. The reason why is because the last time I went, the lady took off probably this much of my brow. Like my brow started like right here, if you guys can see. And I was so pissed, but there was nothing I could do about it. And I was just like looking at her like you, you, you waxed off. I barely have it. A quick tip that I have, um, do your brows at home. So a quick way to do them is pretty much do it. Take like a really black, maybe a dark brown or a really harsh, harsh liner or pencil or gel or something like that. And fill your brows in very heavily how you want them shaped. So if you want them to go like upside down V's or W's or U's or whatever you want to call them, fill it in heavily. And then from there, take the concealer or if you don't even want to use concealer, it's an option. You use concealer, no concealer, um, kind of outline the brow exactly how you want to. And then pluck every single hair that is outside of that black harsh you know, brow line. That is the easiest way to get your brows shaped the way you want them shaped. And then you can maintain it at home versus always going somewhere to get them done and then having people mess up on your own brows. Personally. Um, so the first thing you're gonna need is a dirty spoolie like this. <laughs> Just kidding. But it's a spoolie from the Anastasia um, Brow Wiz but anything will work. So just brush your brows the way you want them to go. So I will take from here, right there, and I'll draw a line all the way to about right here. So let's see, let's see if I can. And you just wanna lightly draw your line. And that's just giving you a starting point. And I will mainly concentrate the brow pencil at the beginning of my brows. I'm doing this because I'm gonna use the Anastasia um, dip brow or a brow gel for the rest of my brows. And do not do the same thing from here to here. If you do the same thing as far as putting the same product from here to here, your brow is gonna look very, very harsh and all anyone is gonna see are brows coming at you. They're not gonna see your face and we want them to see your, your beautiful face. Beautiful. So from here, I'm just going to, let's see, I have a mirror in my hand. Just go up really lightly. Really lightly. And then I'll start to fill in any sparse areas and start to make this shape. <laughs> I tilt my head this way whenever I fill the beginning of my brows in because it helps me get that straighter line to make it seem like I have more hairs um, in my brows than I really do because they're, my, my brows are very sparse um, in the beginning. So I just tilt my head and the lighting is going down or the sun is going down, which is what I don't need and I go upward. See? Look at that. Yes, there it goes. So a brush that's flat and angled. And the thing with dip brow, it's in the beginning, I couldn't use it. Like I didn't know 
what I was doing wrong. I didn't know what the problem was. If you use too much of this, you're already screwed. So less is more. Notice I, where I started. I started not at the center. I mean, not at the beginning. I started more in the center. Once you wing it out, it'll really give you some good shape. This is my brow that's done. This is the brow that's almost done. So, so here's another quick tip. A lot of people right now are doing the whole concealer. Concealer is great for cleaning up your eyebrows. So if you're growing them out, um, if you're growing them out and you really want more shape, well, really want to change your shape, you're gonna need a lot more concealer. But if you're not and they're already shaped, they're already clean like my brow is, there's no need for so much concealer. Right um, now I have the matte concealer. It's not gonna focus, but whatever. But it's the Studio Finish Concealer in NC42. And I'll take my dirty brow, it's actually a double-sided eyebrow brush, if you can see that. Let me show you what to do. Okay, so I'll take the, this concealer and I'll just do it at the beginning of my brow. Okay, so, okay. So I'm not, again, I'm not too close. I'm just right underneath it. Okay, so I'll stop there, and then I will take this little pencil, and I'll just go like that. I'll just finish the rest like that. We're just going to clean up our brows. So we're taking that concealer, we are running it along the bottom and really cleaning it up and making it a lot sharper. And that's where we're at so far. We're gonna take a, well I take the back side of my brush because it's double sided. So if you have a fluffier brush, go ahead and take that and bring that concealer down and smooth it out. I don't necessarily always go at the top, but I just take whatever's left over. Just to make sure that the beginning of my brow is not so harsh, because I absolutely do not like a harsh beginning, and I'm not that great at the gradient effect of brows, this is how I fake it. I take that, the fluffier brush that we just kind of um, smoothed our concealer with, and whatever's left over, I go up on my brow, just the beginning of it. And what that does, if you just noticed a little bit, it takes that line out for one. So, let's see. It takes the line out and it'll take out a little bit more product just in case you over overfilled your, um, your brows. So from here, you just wanna take your spoolie again and run your spoolie along just to make sure everything is even. And there you guys go. That's how I do my brows. Very simple and very easy. Um, like I said, it's, it's nothing too detailed, but I like the way that I do them. I think they look a lot more natural. And um, just remember your brows, <laughs> they're not twins, okay? They're not identical twins, they are sisters. They're not supposed to be exactly the same. Um, don't forget to kind of soften the beginning of your brow. It will make your features a lot softer, um, especially if you're doing more of a natural look, which is, this is all I'm wearing for work today. No, um, eyeliner or anything like that. It's too hot here in Houston. So yeah, this is it. That's all I've got for my brows. I hope this helped. I know it was quick and maybe all over the place. I just, I just think it's very easy. Once you get your shape down once you clean up your brows and once you just have two maybe three really good nice products and you practice you'll have them down in no time so let me know if you guys have any questions i hope you like this and i will see you guys in my next video